Spring has sprung, and with the longer days and warmer weather come one dreadful thing. Allergies. Believe it or not, our pets can suffer from many of the same allergies that make us totally miserable. It's really rare, but they can even be allergic to you. And in this case, me. Meet the only dog we know allergic to humans today on Cool Stuff, Strange Things. Strange Things, this is a story about a girl named Lucky. JK, but you'll see why I have Britney Spears on the mind in just a second. This is a story about a pup named Cruella. I adopted Cruella in 2014 and soon after realized something wasn't right. It all started with mild skin irritations, progressed to a constant itch, and culminated into a nearly hairless puppy. It was a heartbreaking, really, really vicious cycle. According to vets, she was healthy. I tried different baths, diets, and to keep her somewhat comfortable, she wore a lycra bodysuit. As seen in fun facts and silly stories, fun. She was ready to debut in the Oops I Did It Again music video, but was still suffering. When none of it worked, allergy testing revealed Cruella's surprising diagnosis. Human, well, human dander. Just like you may be allergic to cats or dogs, cats and dogs can be allergic to you. I didn't believe it at first, and my vet was equally as shocked. On top of human dander, Cruella is allergic to ragweed, thistle, melaleuca and pine trees, rye, ants, and roaches. It was time for immunotherapy. All of her allergens were whipped up into a customized serum designed to desensitize her allergies. The immunotherapy used proteins from the allergens themselves to slowly teach Cruella's immune system to tolerate people. Well, to tolerate me, I guess. Over about six months, she was set. She still takes a pill in the day-to-day, -day, but simply to manage her condition, just like you would take a Claritin or a Zyrtec. Corella is a rare case, but there are some other seriously strange allergies out there. Aquagenic urticaria is no joke. This allergy causes the skin to break out into hives whenever it contacts water. Severe sufferers may only be able to handle a few moments in the shower and be unable to drink a glass of water, or even cry without pain. The good news is, though, this typically only lasts a few years and not an entire lifetime. If your fish allergy is intense enough, even the smell of fish can cause a reaction. With a sniff, you're actually taking in particles through your nasal cavity. Notably, though, flounder and hake are the smelliest of culprits. For a tiny group of people, electromagnetic fields are causing intense allergic reactions. A woman named Debbie Bird claims that her sensitivity to electronic smog is so intense that she cannot operate any technology, has coated her walls with carbon paint, and sleeps under a silver net. Food allergies are common, but in 2009 we learned of Caleb Bushenshut, who is violently allergic to any kind of food or drink. Consuming anything would cause brutal ulcers to erupt in his stomach. Weirdly enough, Caleb could eat ice and drink one specific brand of lemonade, but anything else is strictly forbidden. Doctors are still stumped on this one. Thanks for watching Strange Things. I'm Sabrina Seek and I'm Corella Seek. And I'll be back next week with more cool stuff and strange things.